Welcome to Edney Studios. I am Edney and let's do some retouching. In this video, we are going to learn how to remove blemishes, how to remove unwanted hair, and also how to do frequency separation. I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks to get the best results in frequency separation. And the best part is, I'll be giving away free actions to make your retouching easier and faster. With all that said, let's get started. So this is a raw photo I got from Deity Studios. So the goal is to make the photo look its best. If you want to follow along, the download link for this photo is in the description. So first thing, we are going to duplicate the layer. And side note, I use keyboard shortcuts which speed up my work massively. I'll be sharing them in the course of the video. To duplicate the layer, we are going to use the shortcut Ctrl plus J. Double click on the layer name and for me, I'm going to go with blemish. And yeah, you guessed right, this is the layer we are going to do all our blemish removal and unwanted hair removal. To remove these blemishes, we are going to use the spot healing brush tool. There are many tools to do this, the patch tool, the close thumb tool, and even the normal healing brush tool. But the spot healing brush tool helps us remove the blemishes faster and easier in most cases. To select the spot healing brush tool, right click on this tool and click on spot healing brush. With the tool selected, zoom into the photo using the alt plus the scroll wheel upward. Or you can also use the zoom in tool. So with this, all you need to do is to click on the blemish and Photoshop automatically removes it. For small blemishes, it does a very good job. Now coming to the hair, you sometimes need to do it multiple times to actually get a good result. After you are satisfied with what you have done, create a new layer I call the screenshot layer. It merges everything you have done so far on a single layer. You can create this layer using shift plus ctrl plus alt plus e. Now we are come to create layers for frequency separation and I do that using actions. Actions make my work easier and faster. And as I promised at the beginning, I'm going to share these actions for free. Go into the description and you'll find them. Go to actions and if you are worried where you can find it, use alt plus F9 key. To create the frequency separation layer, I am going to use the frequency separation action. Click on it and click on the play button. After the layers are created, make sure you have the mix up brush tool selected. Also use this brush settings to be able to get the same results. Zoom into the photo a little bit and start brushing over the skin. Have you noticed I have a pattern in which I do my brush? The best way to do frequency separation is to brush in the shape of the part of the body you are working on. For example, you see I brush the nose according to how it is shaped. And also, have you noted I brush at little portions at a time? This may look time consuming, but results are worth it. Also, change your brush size by using the square brackets to be able to paint professionally. With that said, watch how I do it and replicate it. Let's go.
as you can see i mostly look at the before and after to see if i'm on track and that can be done by clicking on this eye icon don't forget to like and subscribe let's continue So at this point we want to check how far we have come from the original photo after the frequency separation. Hold ALT and click on the eye icon of the first layer. For the next step we are going to learn how to make the skin tones of the subjects uniform. We are also going to learn dodging and burning and a lot more. Stay tuned, like, subscribe and turn on post notification. I am Edney and I